students coming to the next topic in the subject microprocessor is addressing modes now let us see what is this addressing modes actually there are different ways in which a source operand is denoted in an instruction you call it as an addressing modes means it's a just representation a different ways in which a source operand means nothing but a value that you want to be represent uh, stored in the if you want the value that you want to be calculated the value that you want to be stored so that you call it as a source operand so the different ways in which a source operand is denoted is denoted in an instruction is known as addressing modes so there are actually total uh, in 8086 microprocessor you are having eight different eight different addressing modes that 8086 programming can support so whatever the uh, programming that you are done in 8086 microprocessor that programming consisting of eight different addressing modes so what are those eight different addressing modes first one immediate addressing mode immediate addressing mode next register addressing mode register addressing mode next direct addressing mode direct addressing mode register indirect addressing mode register indirect addressing mode uh, next based addressing mode based addressing mode next indexed addressing mode seventh one based index addressing mode based index addressing mode and the last one is the eighth one uh, this is based index uh, with the displacement addressing mode with base index with displacement addressing mode so these are the eight different addressing modes that uh, 8086 programming can support immediate register direct register indirect based index based index based index with displacement addressing mode now let us see one by one so the first one is immediate addressing mode immediate addressing mode so what is the use of this immediate addressing mode how we represent this in immediate addressing mode so the addressing mode in which the data operand so the data itself the data operand is part of the instruction itself is a part of the instruction itself we call it as immediate addressing mode so the addressing mode in which the data operand so whatever the data is there that is a part of instruction itself so in the instruction itself we are uh, including the data that you call it as immediate addressing mode so let me take the example move cx comma 4929h so this is a data a value that value is moving to the cx register so this is a 16 bit register so that's why cx ax bx cx dx these are all the 16 bit registers so we are moving 16 bit of data into cx register if you move if you want to move to 8 bit you can write that also move cl uh, al comma fh so this is a 15 bit data that is a 15 15 so ff is a 15 bit data so which is an immediate data that is moving to the al register or else you can perform the operations also not simply moving the data you can also perform the operations add ax comma 2387h so 2378 is an immediate data so this data this is the value that value is added to the content that is present in ax register and finally the register uh, the value will store in ax that means ax the value of ax is added to immediate data 
and the finally the result will stored in ax okay this value will stored in ax register so this about the immediate addressing so the simply the immediate addressing means this is a source operand whatever here i mentioned this is a source operand the address of uh, uh, addressing mode in which the data operand is a part of itself the parts of instruction itself okay means the value is uh, acting as a part of an instruction itself this is completely as an instruction so in this instruction the data itself is a one part of the instruction so that is immediate data immediate addressing mode now let us see the second one so what is the second one register addressing mode register addressing mode so what is this register addressing mode register addressing mode means here it means let me write right it means that the register that the register is the source of an operand is the source of an operand for an instruction so whatever the instruction you are having in that instruction a register will be there so the register is acting as a source of an operand so let me write the example then you will understand move cx comma ax so here both are the registers so this type of instruction you call it as a register addressing mode here the register contains a source of an operand it's acting as a source of an operand means in that particular registers one data is there that data has to be moved to the cx register okay so here in this instructions it copies content content means the value okay whatever the data that is present in that register copies the content of 16 bit so this is 16 bit register 16 bit ax register into 16 bit cx register so we are just copying the value whatever the content that is present in this ax register is moving to the 16 bit cx register content means a value or you call it as operand okay so that value or operand that is present in ax register is moving into cx register so this is about the register addressing mode so in the next videos i'll explain about the remaining addressing modes. Thank you.